Hi, and welcome to Valheim Tips and Tricks. It's undeniable that one of the scariest, if not the scariest thing that you would encounter in the plains biome is the bug from hell that hits like a truck. The Death Skeeto. An annoying glass cannon that could ruin your game experience in Valheim. But in this video, I'm going to show you something that we have been asking for. A bug suit. A potential anti that skeeto armor that will make the skeetos look like a baby. But before that, let's have a recap on how much it hits with the existing armors. So these armors are all maxed out to level 4 to showcase its maximum armor level. And I will be using the wolf cape with all the sets because regardless of the type of cape that you're using, it offers the same armor protection, which is always 4. First, the troll armor. We will skip the rag armor and the leather armor since it's unlikely that you will be roaming around the plains like a lunatic on that level. When maxed out, troll armor offers 40 armor protection. So let's see how much damage you can take from the Ditskito with this level of protection. So with the maxed out troll armor, the death skeeto was able to deal an average of 42 damage. Next, the bronze armor. When maxed out, the bronze armor gives 46 armor protection. The dead skeeto was able to deal an average of 40 damage. Next, the iron armor. If maxed out, the iron armor gives 64 armor protection. The death skeeto was able to deal an average of 29 to 30 damage. Next, the wolf armor. When maxed out, the wolf armor gives 82 armor protection. The Death Skeeto was still able to deal an average of 21 damage. And next, considered to be the highest tier of armor as of the moment in the game, the Padded Armor. When maxed out, the Padded Armor gives 100 armor protection. But the Death Skeeto was still able to deal an average of 18 damage. 
Lastly, and the newest armor added to the arsenal of Valheim, the Root Armor. This armor is similar to bronze in terms of the amount of armor protection. Check this out. When maxed out, the root armor gives 46 armor protection, exactly the same as the bronze armor, but the death Skido was only able to deal an average of 10 damage per attack. The death Skidos are scary no more. You can unlock the root armor once you have looted a root from the newest swamp monster that was added during the last patch, the Abomination. This monster is weak to slash damage and the best way to fight it is to stay close and underneath it. Just make sure to parry or dodge its body slams. The root armor gives a pierced damage reduction. Though it is not shown in the actual stats on how much pierced damage is reduced, but because of this, we can safely say that the root armor is so far the best protection from the dead skittos or any mobs that cause pierce damage like the spear fulling, archer draugers, and skeleton archers. At the same time, this armor gives a set bonus of additional 15 points to your bow skills and a poison resist. This armor will only reduce your movement speed by 2%. So, I guess we can say that this is meant for those who want to main archery and to be able to move around, dish out a lot of damage, and being protected from any projectile that causes pierce damage. However, this armor is so weak to fire damage. The risk of getting one shot by a fire fooling or a shaman is likely to happen. You may not die from the initial hit, but the fire damage over time is huge. Because of its low armor value, this armor is not meant for tanking and brawling like an idiot. It's not for that. Unless your parrying skills is on point, then you should be fine. And that is all for now, you guys. And I do hope you find this guide helpful. If you do, please leave a like and smash that subscribe button for fresh tips and tricks for Valheim. You can also leave a comment below for requests and guides or walkthroughs that you want us to cover or any recommendations on how we can make our content better in our future videos. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now you guys.